Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, happy Friday Eve, Utah. Looking at uh, gorgeous conditions this morning. Yesterday evening, however, did you see some of the lightning out there yesterday? Scott Taylor captured this video uh, of one. Slowed it down for us a little bit to be able to see the strike that happened uh, across the uh, southwest end of the valley. Beautiful conditions, though, uh, with what we saw uh, for much of yesterday morning. We're starting out that way again this morning with mostly clear skies across much of the state. As far as moisture content goes from some of the showers and storms that did roll through, boy, we had quite a bit of wind associated with those thunderstorms as well. Anywhere from 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts, 20 or two tenths of an inch of rain fell at Decker Lake. Uh, East Mill Creek had 18 hundredths along with South Salt Lake. Holiday picked up just over a tenth of an inch and Centerville just shy of a tenth of an inch of moisture. Expect similarly uh, to see similar conditions out there today with uh, similar amounts of moisture with some of these Popcorn uh, thunderstorms are going to form up this afternoon. Temperatures right now as you're heading out the door, pretty comfortable, pretty seasonal for this time of year. Uh, upper 50s, low 60s are common for a lot of the Wasatch Front. 53 in Provo, good morning. Only 41 in Cedar City, a bit chilly there. 64 in St. George, 47 in Blanding, uh, 50 degrees in Vernal. So uh, calm uh, skies this morning across uh, the state. We do have a few more clouds across northern Utah, but really shower activity has been limited uh, to areas surrounding the Beehive State. Isolated storms again yet this afternoon. We'll kind of walk you through some of the timing of those. Fewer storms on Friday. The trough of low pressure that's impacting us today is weakening, fizzling out as it lifts north, only generating a slight chance on Saturday. And so moisture potential kind of shifts gears from being hugging the uh, eastern portion of the state yesterday, now shifting more towards the west side of the state as the area of low pressure is lifting through eastern Nevada. So we will see uh, isolated uh, storm potential out there this afternoon. Notice the greater chances are in yellow for our mountain areas primarily, but some of those could trickle into the Wasatch Front throughout some of the evening uh, as we're heading into Thursday evening as well. On Friday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, more of the same. A few isolated storms are expected, and we copy paste this forecast into Saturday, although there's less moisture to deal with, so not expecting much, if any, moisture activity out there, but we could see a stray shower or storm. St. George forecasted windy, mostly sunny today, just north of Washington County. Iron County can see an isolated storm as well. 90 to 1 on Saturday, 90 Sunday. Slight chance of storms into next week. Extended forecast for the Wasatch Front. Isolated storms, mid 80s for highs. Plan on partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Slight chance of some showers and then scattered storms into next week. Temperatures are going to be falling as well as the trough approaches just mid 70s for highs. 